Yeah, so uh, it's 18 chapters. <laughs> and, um, you know, I mean, it's, it needs to be... I'm, I'm on the first five. There, one through four is done. Five's done. Then I read through all of them, and it's like there's little typos and... Not typos, but just like punctuation errors. And then I realize, I'm like, man, this... It's like recounting events, and I'm just saying to myself, okay, now it's looking biblical. But you don't want it to look too biblical. You want it to be entertaining. And God's content from my whole journey, there's a lot of cool shit I'm saying. All these like, wow, who's that? Like, Wint, like Wint Marsalis? Like, Tom Windish? Fucking whoever. DJ Falcon? <laughs> uh, but, you know, it's got to have, like, the adjectives next. So it's like, I got to go through, finish 7 through 18, make sure that's good, then read through the whole fucking thing, fix the punctuation. Because if there's one punctuation error, someone's going to be like, I, I know how that works because, you know, I used to teach, I still do even teach grammar. But one punctuation error, and then all of a sudden, you lose cred credibility. So I got to go through it then, and then I got to go all the way through it after that and condense the sentences, and then I got to go through it one more time to add adjectives. I guess I want to do the adjectives first and then the sentences, or maybe them at the same time. My point is this. The guidance is as follows. It needs to taste sweet like honey in your mouth. And right now, you know, I just need to get him to page 50. We get to page 50, all of a sudden I start saying shit you never even thought about. Like, whoa, what's this? But the key is to get him to 50, you know? And if it starts to get repetitive around page 40, then, you, you know, it's a tough fucking sell to get him to page 50. You get him to page 50, you're home. Because all of a sudden people choose sides. They're like, whoa, this guy's like, you know, he's picking sides here. <sighs> Got to get him to 50. But at least the length of 1 through 50 won't be as long as it has, you know, or as it is, hopefully. It's 100, the whole thing is 166 pages right now. I'm hoping it'll come down, but honestly, by the time I get, or frankly, by the time I get, um, you know, I'm only through chapter 5 or 6 or whatever. I think I'm working on 6 now, but... 7 through 18 are done, but, you know, I mean, there's spots where it's just like there's a little paragraph and I got to fucking fill it a little bit. Add punctuation, you know, give dialogue, all that stuff. So <laughs> it could come out to like 170. Now, granted, you got 35 pages worth of appendix and et cetera stuff. So really 170 is close to like 140, 135. It's a short book, three and a half hour read, but man... It's just not fucking easy. See, when, some, when, there, when, there, when there's a, an author who writes a book, they're focused on the craftsmanship of the words. Me, I'm like, I just want to get, this is what happened, this is what happened, this is what happened. But the thing is, if you have a book like that, no one's going to fucking read it the entire way through. So it needs, to be in, it needs to be sweet in your mouth. But then when you finally get to page 50 and you're like, you know, reading along and it's all happy and it's real, you know, when you read a book, it's very intimate. And then I've got you hooked. And then all of a sudden it starts talking about the book of Revelation and things start to click and make a lot of fucking sense. That's it though. It's those first 50 pages. They got to be sweet like fucking honey. Like nectar. So that's where I'm at right now. You know, it wasn't enough to do all this shit. Make a movie tour with a band, learn the entertainment business, music and, you know, a little bit of, uh, uh, you know, uh, filmmaking. I had to learn how to edit a film. I had to learn, uh, you know, I had to do statistical analyses. I got results I have to publish in this thing. I have, um, I had to write a memoir. <laughs> Fucking full-length book, guys. Let's see what else. I had to apply this 2,000-year-old book of Revelation to 2019 and to work out a new economic system, which doesn't involve money. <laughs> you got to figure out a way or had to, had to figure out a way that God's going to actually manage each of us, understand how to articulate it, be able to reference examples from other people that have gone through this sort of experience where, oh, bam, you know, all of a sudden I feel different than I ever have. Colors are brighter. I feel light scents in the air they just smell better yeah you, you just experienced that you popped your cherry basically you, you you've experienced the mental state that we're going to try to get the entire world to achieve 
at the same time, except we're not going to be able to do so because a third of them are going to fucking die. Because they're just like going to be saying, well, I'm not going to do that or whatever. But two thirds of the rest are going to be like, or two thirds of the population, they're going to go for it. But you got to understand that. You got to go through all the fucking prophecy, eschatology, different religions. See how it applies to psychology, medicine, philosophy. Like I said, economics, financial money, money banking system. What else? Uh, carbon emissions, natural disasters, fucking seismic activity, geology. <laughs> That's my dad's forte. I'm just saying. That's part of it. I haven't talked to him at all. I mean, he's the geologist. He knows where the fucking ark is. It's like the one contribution he's got. No one can fucking understand what he's saying. And even if they could, he doesn't have the skill set. I'm not knocking him. I'm just saying. Who else is going to do this? Feedback from the client, like from the marketplace. The, the thing is, like, you can't just get the book done. You've got to fucking make it palatable. That's what's, that's what's a drag about the fucking Bible. I'm not saying the Bible's bad. I'm just saying it's like, come on, dude, 2,000 pages. Give me some fucking adjectives, man. So I was reading through my version. I'm like, man, this doesn't sound like the Bible. I mean, there's dialogue and there's cool stuff. But, um, you know, and there's like modern events and all this stuff. But you just, you got to fucking make it palatable if someone puts that book down. So anyway, I figure I'm going to start with, I'll get all the content in there, which is pretty much there. But I got to make sure if, it, if someone read it as is, they get the idea and they're like, okay, we're good. But then I got to clean up all the punctuation and whatever spelling issues, just edit it basically. And then I got to go through and condense the sentences, add the adjectives, give it another read. And then we're done. It is February 21st right now. My target is to do all that, by the way. It takes six months to write a fucking 170 page fucking book. I got the thing done so far. Well, let's see. I started writing it on the 10th or 15th of January. It's the 21st of February. So what are we talking? Six weeks? Five and a half? I'm talking 10 days. Five and a half, 10, or seven weeks total. I'll have it done in eight. A third of the time. <laughs> God, I got to tell you, man. Don't ever try to have anyone do this again. This is a one-off deal. You got to be, you got to be built for this. And he's got me hooked too, because the funny thing is, I have free will here. I don't have to put his fucking book online. No big deal. I already got the movie. They can, you can derive a lot from it, but the book will go. But if I decided not to do that, what I would do, because he gives me free will, he's a gentleman. I'd go and I'd start a business. Make some money, pay back my debts. But I'd never get the only girl that I ever want from here on out. That's my girl. She would never talk to me again because she'd say, You're fucking insane. Period. And with that hook, on top of all the coincidences matching Revelation, all of the prophecy, my burning bathroom experience everything. That's what's going to get me over the finish line is that woman. He knew it. Moses got it done with just a burning bush. He's like, God exists. I'm fucking doing all this stuff. Of course he was 80 <laughs> when it happened. I'm 36. Jesus didn't even need a burning bush. He's, God's like, I don't need to give him a burning bush. Jesus believes, man. Me? He had to give me the girl the burning bathroom, all the prophecy. I got so much more fucking prophecy, I feel like, than Jesus. I stare at it, and I'm like, oh, well, it's a no-brainer. Plus, meet all my fucking heroes, you know, have them incorporated in the book. Three U.S. presidents, the number one trumpeter in the world, the number one booking agent in the world, the uh, Grammy Award-winning producer on 2000, or 2013's Grammy Award-winning album of the year, his cousin... 
who's the reason I fell in love with that genre of music. <laughs> Who guy in the band got to party with in France? What else did he give me? What am I missing here? I don't know, but it, all that, and I'm barely going to get this done. Jesus was the king of the jungle. He didn't need shit. He didn't need a burning bush. He didn't need a burning bathroom. He didn't need fucking, he just knew. I know I've given you a hard time mentally, Jesus. Not that I've tried to talk shit. I mean, I guess I have in the past, but, you know, I, I, it sucks what you had to do. But here's the deal. I'm not going to worship you because it says don't do that in the book of Revelation, but I'm going to high five your ass. Say good job. You guys are in a simulation. I'm going to prove it. We're going to heaven on earth. It's all in your fucking mind. God's getting his millennial government consisting of him at the top and every other human equal. No president, no vice president, no secretary. We all follow rules and laws in our society. We know that you don't murder. It's written in the uh, federal whatever penal or legal codes. I don't need to be, I don't need to see the government, not that you can't even see the government, but I don't need to see the government in order to figure that out. It's just, it's in my mind, I know it. Well, that's what we're gonna do with God's 10 commandments. And you're gonna say, well, that's not enough because we have so many different laws here in the US and uh, you know, in different countries. Well, you know what? God doesn't need to have fucking 400 or 1,000 laws. You got it done in 10 because he's God. And every law that you see, every single fucking law that's worth a damn, is uh, derived from the Ten Commandments, every single one, except drug laws. You wanna know why? Because God don't give a fuck if you do drugs. He cares if you start to worship them and replace him with them. That's the issue. That's why when he shows up, the lion who is worthy, and no man in heaven or earth, the sea below, the heavens above or whatever, no man was worthy, and I wept greatly. And one of the elders said, weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah. <sighs> That's why when the lion shows up, he's on a fucking white horse. <sighs> he's cocaine, guys. This guy doesn't give a shit if you do some drugs. That's Babylon shit. <sighs> See ya.